Hey, we're back with another reaction video. Uh, this time, we're going to do some comedy. Uh, my favorite female comedian, uh, her name is Thea Vidal. And uh, she's just fall down funny woman. Uh, I actually had a chance to hang out with her and John Panette uh, when I lived in Little Rock. And uh, I just want to share this with you guys because, quite frankly, if you don't know Thea, you're missing out on one of the best comedians uh, on earth. So uh, let me get you into a comedy. This is her on the Hot Tamales live tour. And uh, I will warn you, this is not suitable for children. So. Ah, shut the f up. I'm the biggest and the blackest and the last one. And I'm glad because Nikki's ass is crazy and the motherfucking cat shit. That girl scares the shit out of me and she white too. That's what fuck with your logic. You know, because white folk crazy and a motherfucker, you know, they'll stick their dick in a can of spam and talk about it. You know how they are. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't behind me, is she? <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. You have to forgive me. I've been doing a lot of traveling and shit. And I, I, I don't know how about you, how you feel about security, but I feel that somebody with a GED can't tell me whether I got a bomb in my purse or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and I can't speak for every woman, but I think I speak for a few when I say Mac makeup costs money. <laughs> and I told the TSA bitch, if I come back here and see rum raisin on your lips, I'm fucking your monkey ass up. <laughs> I put my clothes back on. Now I got to run to my gate. Now, let's get something straight. It's not like I can't run. It's just some shit I don't enjoy doing. <laughs> so I'm running to my gate, and I run past these four Africans. And I know they're African because they laugh like, <laughs> and they stink. So I run past the four Africans. I get to my gate. I ask the counter bitch. I say, bitch. It's first class full. She said, yes, ma'am, it is. I said, well, I'm a platinum card holder with your airline. Is there any way I can have a whole row? Now, let me get such you straight about something else. It's not like I'm so big that I need a whole row, but a bitch want to stretch out. <laughs> so I get to my row, and I notice there's an Asian chick sitting behind me, and she's knocked the fuck out. That's because she's sitting next to one of the Africans. <laughs> and there's two Africans catacorn from me, and there's one African sitting between two Filipinos, and the Filipino people looking at me like, help us. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't. I don't know them niggas. So then I, <laughs> I get in my row. Feel my pain, bitches. Feel my pain. I'm in my row. I, getting straightened out, I take a Xanax because Jesus loves Xanax. Now, I'm getting comfortable. The flight attendant, she shuts the plane door. The African that was between the two Filipinos, he jumped in my aisle seat. Oh, God damn. So I take another Xanax because Jesus loved two Xanax just like he loved one. <laughs> I'm getting all comfortable. Passing down the runway, I pull the shade down, I'm leaning against the window. I believe we all know the window rule, do we not? He who sit by the window, what? Rule the motherfucking window. We taxi him down the runway, this bastard leans across me, raise up the shade, talking about, I want to see. I said, I wanted you to wash your ass before you came here too. But that didn't work out for me, you dusty butt spit, chucky monkey butt eating motherfucker. Then I took the flight attendant's intercom and said, are there any skinheads or clansmen on this plane? We got four niggas you can kill and we ain't gonna tell nobody. <laughs> then the plane land, my stomach is bloated, my breasts are sensitive, it feels like somebody hitting me in the gut every three minutes. Yippee, I'm starting my period. If I could kill three or four men right now, I sure would feel better about myself. I 
am so sick of television acting like being on your period is some romantic voyage. Ain't no bitch riding no horse when she start her period. Ain't no bitch swimming in the Caribbean when she start her period. You know if you attract sharks, she ain't got no business being in the water. Why you wanna fuck up everybody else vacation? You wanna show me some real shit? Show me a woman in the bed with a heating pad, some hot tea and a joint. Show me that motherfucker. Show me a man sitting in the car with his three kids talking about, we got to stay at the motel because mama crippled. <laughs> Men, you have no clue how hard it is to be a woman. It is constant fucking tedium. You want big titties, a flat stomach, a big ass. You got a small dick, but we still love you. looking kind of scared now, ain't you? <laughs> Look at you, looking all young. How old are you, boy? 19, I'll fuck you, make your nose bleed. You got the wrong bitch here. <laughs> See, I ain't nothing nice. I'll go to jail behind your ass. I ain't scared. And your two friends can watch. go to bed tonight, look in this closet, I'm like, at night when I close my eyes, I see big black women. <laughs> Don't be scared, I got children. I can't stand them motherfuckers. Huh? <laughs> Just, I got four, I got twin girls, hellfire damnation. When they were little, they was identical. I couldn't tell them apart, but something went wrong, I just beat the fuck out of both of them. <laughs> you was with her, bitch, you was with her. <laughs> Some of y'all going, no, she's not a parent. Yes, the fuck I am. <laughs> and a damn good one, too. Because I, I am. I'm a damn good mom. I ain't lying. I have one, one of my twin girls is grown. Uh, she got married uh, to another woman. And, uh, hey! I support my child. I support my child. Fuck what you heard. Let me get you straight. Is somebody watching TV, somebody in this audience right now putting money on their child's books because they in jail? My child just eating pussy. The way I got it figured, I'm way ahead of the game. <laughs> Her twin sister want to be a Pentecostal minister. I don't know how to fuck that girl. <laughs> I love Thea. I'm saved, mama. Could you save your ass over there? My oldest boy, Pestilence. <laughs> He's married to a white woman. I, I love Melissa to death. She, Cause you can't tell your children who to love. They gonna love who the fuck they wanna love. I ain't one of them motherfuckers, you know? And then for you people out here that got children that don't, don't, uh, you agree with they, who they pick, mind your motherfucking business. Just support them, deal with they shit. You know? I love Melissa to death, but that's the non-cooking this bitch I ever laid eyes on. <laughs> Everything she cooked, Campbell Soup got something to do with it. <laughs> I remember when they first got married, she put she made some kind of gray gelatinous shit. I don't know what it was. My son is six foot eight. I looked at him and said, I am not eating this. He said, You have to. I love her. I say, you fucking her, you gotta eat it. <laughs> I'm going to Popeyes. <laughs> she said, bring me something back. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, my youngest son, he's married to a Mexican girl, I love her dearly. It's a little spicy over there, I love him. All I need is an Asian, I'll be the United Colors of Bennington, that's all I <laughs> I love that, I love that, I love my life, it's a good life. I smoke weed, I think they should make marijuana legal. Cause pot smokers don't hurt nobody. We dial Domino's Pizza, get the pizza, we're in heaven. I've been smoking weed since I was 15 years old. I'm 52 now, so it's safe to assume I'll be smoking when Jesus come back. <laughs> Hell, I didn't smoke so much weed, I thought I was smoking with Jesus. And ain't nothing wrong with smoking with Jesus. Any man that can turn an ounce into a pound is all right with me. <laughs> I was talking to Jesus the other day. He called me Kaleka. I hate when you do that. 
talking about he want to bring the disciples over. I said, fuck no, because they get the munchies eat up all your shit. And don't bring Judas, because he'll smoke your weed, then call the law on your ass. <laughs> now see, some of y'all getting sensitive, because I did a joke about Jesus. Like God going to call you up tomorrow, talking about, I saw you at the comedy club laughing from Jesus jokes. I ain't trying to threaten you, but somebody going to hell. <laughs> look in the mirror, motherfucker, look in the mirror. God don't care, I'm taking my shoes off. God don't care, you see my shoes, they cute, fuck you. Uh, God don't care. That's why he put weed on the earth, so people can get along. I don't like to be around drunk folk. Cause one, your bread stink. Two, you always wanna fight, and worst of all, they vomit in your car. Oh, they say they sorry, but you don't never see them scoop that shit up and take it home with them, do you? <laughs> you smoke weed, your reality is different. You don't even feel like fucking with your kids when you high. You be like, shh, quit it. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. <laughs> Give mommy a bite of your cookie. <laughs> and there's some shit that only real Buddha heads understand. But have you ever been down to the last of your good shit? The last of your good, good shit? The shit that's so good you gotta stick it in the microwave, dry it out so you can roll up good shit? <laughs> and for those of you that do partake in the urban experience, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hard to talk about it. When you roll your last joint, <laughs> it's like a ceremony. You know how you do. Do, do, do. South Park. <laughs> and you sitting up there having the best giggly giggly of your life because you know they're finna kill Kitty. <laughs> and some old fucked up person come to your house like your mama and she start asking you a whole lot of questions so now you gotta think. <laughs> oh, she asking you hard questions too. Like how come you eating Cool Whip and cornbread? <laughs> and if you a true pot smoke, you know the best food commercial come on late at night. And the best food commercial in the world is Red Lobster. <laughs> Have you ever been so fucked up when they squeeze that lemon, you actually grab your eye like they got you? <laughs> <laughs> See, if you don't smoke weed, you don't get it. Don't before things happen to you when you smoke marijuana. You get high, you get horny, you get hungry, you go to sleep. Hell, that's for the best things in the world right there. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna tell you one more thing and I'm gonna get the fuck on. Cause I love you and I got shit to do. How many women in this room got a good man? <clears throat> I mean, you got a damn good man. Well, this is what I want you to do for your good man every morning before your good man go to work. I want you to suck his dick. And I don't mean that mediocre shit you do when you don't wanna be bothered. I mean, I want you to get down in the trenches where they balls be all up in your throat. I'm gonna tell you why. Because a man whose dick is sucked well in the morning is resourceful, he's hopeful, he's rejuvenated. Not to mention it cuts down on road rage. So this is my mantra to you. Suck a dick, save a life. Thank you for letting me be myself. Thank you. I love her so much. She is... He's one of a kind. There is just absolutely nobody that is like Thea Man. And, um... I'd... I'd give anything in the world to... I'd give anything in the world to, uh... Have her on my podcast. And, uh... 
just to catch up and and talk about that day we got to hang out and all that so uh yeah thea vidal uh if you don't know her that's one of her many things she's got a bunch of comedy records out i said there was also a tv show called uh thea and uh, there was one season and it's actually where the singer brandy i uh, got her acting start so uh you go check that out too but uh i'm the music god this is thea vidal and uh, we'll be back. More reaction videos. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell uh, to let us know uh, or to let you know when I do more of these. Until then, peace.